if you do it right in this generation, your children, honestly, they'll never have to work for anyone because the capital base should be so strong by the time they're even born that they are just insulated or as, as Ice-T likes to say, caved out where they are protected financially to a level where they only work on things that they enjoy doing. They're not working for survival anymore. This is doable. This is absolutely, absolutely doable. If, if everyone, and this is where I'd, where I'd love, I wish I could raise like a, a quarter of a billion dollars to build a, just a vast school system, but, but we're going to start with, you know, maybe a homeschool network or something, but, but literally if every single person just knew even a fraction of the ideas that I'm sharing with you, it wouldn't be hard to have a, a scenario where no, no child in any, uh, prepared family would ever have to work for anybody. You don't have to serve anybody. You don't have to be sold into slavery. And so um, anyway, so we talked about that. And then his mother said something like, she said something, I, I'd mentioned this before, and I'll, I'm going to bring it up again because I think it's worth talking about. She said, you know, they say, uh, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Uh, teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Right? Y'all have heard this. Give me a guess if, if, if that makes sense. Right. So you, you teach him how to fish. Uh, he's fed for a lifetime because he, anytime he gets hungry, he can go to the pond, throw the reel in and fish for himself. He can do it for himself. And that's really important. But then some of you may have heard the, the better version of that narrative, which is, which is the financially conscious version of the narrative, which is that instead of teaching someone how to fish, you, you own the pond, you find a way to finance the pond. And if you own the pond, then you can rent the land out to people that are teaching each other how to fish. Right. So you're not you, so so you've gone to from on three levels of economic consciousness. And let me explain. Uh, give a man a fish. You're on the charity frequency. The charity vibration is very problematic. That's not a good economic system. Uh, there was a documentary on YouTube called um, Poverty Inc., where literally there are multi-billion dollar charitable organizations that pretty much stay in business by using poverty porn to uh, to raise all this money from rich Europeans to allegedly give to African countries, but they don't really give them the resources or the means of production. They just make stuff in hand and give it to them for free. So uh, you you raise a billion dollars, you go to your friend in France or in the U.S. and you say, "We need you to make a billion dollars worth of shoes, and they, so we can give them to African children." And they make a they, so they're making the money, and the kids are just getting the shoes. They're not getting the money, nor are they getting the ability to make their own shoes. Do you understand? So what happens is that. Uh, if somebody is, a, is, a, is is trying to build a shoe manufacturing facility in that country and hire people in that country, they can't do it because you're giving away free shoes. And so you've kind of put them out of business while at the same time made sure that the good stuff was preserved for the people at the top. And this is something that happens in black communities everywhere. They always talk. If you watch the DNC, uh, to some extent, they were talking all day about how they're going to give you a quality education. They're going to give, 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 give you a quality education. Well, you know what? First off, it, as a as a resident of Chicago, um, and I saw what I see what they're doing to the kids in, in our schools. I saw them close down all these schools in Chicago where they were forcing the kids to walk through rival gang territories to get to a new school. Uh, and then they wouldn't let the people in the community use the buildings. They said, hey, these buildings are empty. Let us use it for something else. They said, no, 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 no. But then suddenly, I guess, when all these immigrants come in from other countries, they're like, oh, yeah, we got to use these buildings to give them a place to live so we can make sure 